Hello people, Ethereum 2.0 is coming closer. Ethereum researcher Justin Drake has mentioned that Ethereum 2.0 will be production ready till 2020 with a possibility of 95%. Together we will have a look at the key innovations and what is coming towards us. And we will also discuss if 2020 is even achievable. I'm Tom Heats, welcome to my channel. So the main thing is that Ethereum will shift from a proof of work chain to a proof of stake chain. Here the beacon chain plays an important role and I'm going to cover it right in a minute. When Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin had a talk at the ETH Denver conference, which has just finished last weekend, he said that Ethereum 2.0 will be a complete success. Ethereum co-founder Joseph Lubin also said that they want to draw 1 million developers into the Ethereum ecosystem. This is a gigantic number and I don't think that they will be able to achieve this goal in 2020. But the more developers you have in your ecosystem, the more interesting the project gets and also the faster the development is. If they are able to draw more developers to Ethereum, there will be a bigger interest of companies because they can then hire potential employees, which develop smart contracts for them, for example. And the number of developers are playing an important role when considering the first mover advantage Ethereum has. And although Ethereum has the first mover advantage, projects like Cardano, EOS, Tezos are pushing from behind and Ethereum wants to maintain the first position at smart contracts. Consensus, which is a company of Joseph Lubin, has started an initiative at the end of last year to draw more developers to Ethereum. In the first few months of 2020, they were able to claim their first successes. Ethereum has made the first big step with the verification of the smart contract platform for Ethereum 2.0. This might not sound like big news at all, but this is a crucial aspect of software development to be sure that there are no mistakes made in the source code. And with mistakes, I mean semantic errors. And semantic means that the computer won't produce side effects. So if I deploy a smart contract, it should exactly do what I have told it to do and not produce any, any side effects. And this is why the formal verification of smart contracts was a very big step to be production ready for Ethereum 2.0. As I've said before, Vitaly Buterin thinks that Ethereum 2.0 will be a very huge success and it will be able to process 10,000 transactions per second. And if you think at the transactions per second right now, the number is between 15 and 20. So that's a big difference. And to be able to process such an amount of transactions, there are three key innovations which will be very important. And that's first of all, switching from proof of work to proof of stake and also establishing the beacon chain, which will be the proof of stake chain. And so the beacon chain will synchronize with shards and with sharding, you mean that you separate the blockchain into subgroups. As a result, you get many smaller blockchains. And the advantage is that you can process transactions in parallel. And of course, this enhances the scalability of Ethereum dramatically. And in addition, you have EWASM, which is the third key innovation of Ethereum 2.0. So EWASM means WebAssembly, and it will replace the Ethereum virtual machine. So the problem was that each node had to run a virtual machine. The machine is responsible for processing transactions and each node has to be aware of every transaction which is currently in the blockchain. 
And as you might guess, this limits the speed of the network. So this will be history with WebAssembly. WebAssembly is also a mesh in which you run, but it can process standardized comments. So WebAssembly has two main advantages due to the fact that it is standardized. There is a lower risk of security issues with it. So EWASM is much more safer to use than the EVM. And also WebAssembly supports many different programming languages. If you think of the EVM, which just supports Solidity, you can now program smart contracts in many different languages like Java, C++, C Sharp, and all this great stuff. And so it is much more safer and much more faster than the EVM. And also the standardized comments will improve the scalability of Ethereum 2.0. So you might think Ethereum 2.0 or as it says here, Serenity has some huge improvements and it only has positive aspects. And you might think why I have put a point here which says what's the thing here? And well, there are some things to mention. First of all, a rebuild needs a lot of effort. Of course, there are some genius guys behind the Ethereum team and some really intelligent developers. But what do you think is better? Take a brand new project and build it from the principles of the current state of technology or take an existing project and adapt the current source code to the new technologies which are out there right now. They are trying to build a system which is processing 10,000 transactions and right now it is processing 15 transactions. In my opinion, if they take the effort which they are putting into the refactoring of Ethereum to become Ethereum 2.0 and create a new project, this will enhance the speed of the development dramatically. Also, the release of 2.0 has always been pushed back. So at first it was January 2020, then it was June 2020, and I don't think they will be able to achieve the goal till June. So it will be again pushed back. And this tells us that there are huge adjustments which have to be made. Also, there will be many dApps out there which would like to stay on the layer 2 chain or proof of work and not adapt to Ethereum 2.0. So what do you do with all these projects? In my opinion, the majority of dApps will stay on Ethereum 1.0 and 1.0 will become the main enemy of 2.0 right now. So honestly, I have to say, I don't know what to think of Serenity or Ethereum 2.0. And I will tell you this in a second. So which way is best for Ethereum in my opinion? And I personally believe Ethereum should pretty much stay the same. It has come a really long way. It started from the white paper in 2013. The crowd sale 2014 and the final launch in 2015. Proof of work is not future at all. For mass adoption, proof of work won't be suitable at all. If you think of Vitalik Buterin, he has once mentioned Ethereum is like a smartphone from 1999 that can process 15 transactions a second and play Snake. So has the smartphone from 1999 adapted? No, a brand new product has been created. It even had a display. You start a project with a certain goal. You can adjust this over time, but the possibilities you have will become from year to year more limited. Many people have accepted Ethereum as it is. It was the first chain smart contract platform, and it was the Yahoo of the blockchain. All technologies reach an evolutionary end. So I think Ethereum should keep maintaining the the Ethereum project. By no means it should be destroyed. But if a project has reached its end, it's time to start something new and not force a project to adjust to the current economy. We will keep thinking of Ethereum as a breakthrough blockchain project. And it is great, still great. What do you think of Ethereum 2.0? Please let me know this in your comments. I'm very interested. So if you liked this video, I would be glad if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I'm posting cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, blockchain videos throughout the week. 
I wish you a great morning, noon or evening. And with that being said, see you in the next video.